Let's evaluate cosine of alpha plus 7 pi over 6 given these two facts about angle alpha. The cosine of alpha is 24 over 25, and the sine of alpha is less than 0. My first advice is to figure out what this triangle looks like. So I'm just going to draw a generic triangle. I don't even know if this is accurate to the situation. Put alpha here. And since I know the cosine of alpha is 24 over 25, that means the adjacent side is 24, and the hypotenuse is 25. And I want to figure out what side A measures. And when I evaluate this on a calculator, I find out that this works out to be the square root of 49. Uh, square root of 49 is 7. Um, or, or negative 7, actually, is a helpful idea. Um, and let's So it's plus or minus 7, right? Um, we know that the sine of alpha is less than 0. That suggests that side A here should be negative. So I'm going to update the triangle. and draw the triangle kind of flipped. Side A is now negative 7, alpha, 24, 25. Now for the next part that we're about to do, it's going to be helpful to know the sine and cosine of angle alpha. So let's write that down. So first of all, the sine of alpha, I know it needs to be less than 0. So. Sine of alpha is going to be opposite the angle over the hypotenuse, negative 7 over 25. The cosine of alpha, which will be useful for this next step, uh, we were actually already given 24 over 25. Okay, I, I wrote these down because I'm anticipating what my next step is about to be. Here comes what I was anticipating. So... Um, I'm going to write down the cosine addition formula uh, for this problem. Cosine of an angle alpha plus 7 pi over 6, which, by the way, is what the original problem reads, is, and I'm working off of the formula for addition of cosines, This is the exact value of the sum of these two angles. And again, I got this from the equation for cosine addition. Um, so I can evaluate cosine 7 pi over 6, and I can evaluate sine 7 pi over 6 by referencing the unit circle. Um, cosine alpha I just wrote down previously. Like I said, I was anticipating that I would need that. Sine alpha I also wrote down that previously. So let's make some substitutions. Oh, I'm going to need to reference a unit circle to get this. Okay, so. Where is 7 pi over 6? Well, pi would be 6 pi over 6. So this is just one more past that. And there's my reference triangle, reference angle. Uh, the... Cosine, that'll be negative. Negative root 3 over 2, and the sine is negative 1 half. Okay, now I'm going to use these up here. Okay, I need the cosine of 7 pi over 6 cosine, negative root 3 over 2. Sine of alpha, that was up here. Sine of 7 pi over 6, negative 1 half. Okay, um, now I've kind of gotten all out of order here. Let's bring this down a few lines. Okay, so there's where I left off, right? This is what this problem is asking for. Uh, 
Um, let's see here. 24, negative 24, negative 24, square root 3 over 25 times 2. Um, sorry, I'm just double checking something. Oh, I think I forgot to write down a negative sign. Sine of alpha is actually negative, and I just forgot to write it down here, negative. All right, so again, um, I multiplied these two and got this, and now I'm going to do, oh, I've got triple negatives here, so I get to maintain the negative sign. 7 times 1 is 7, 25 times 2. Um, so uh, this is our answer. You could simplify this here into and I suppose that would be that would be simplest form. Hope that's been helpful. Good luck.